Thank you very much. I am indeed delighted to be here. Please don't thank me for being here, it's part of my job. As Minister for Finance, Planning and Economic Development, I think uh, this, co this uh, convention sits right in the middle of my mandate. And I'd like to show off my knowledge by correcting the foregoing speakers and saying it is banking according to Islamic principles. <laughs> and also to again show off and say I'm aware that this kind of banking is in operation across the world, even in non-Islamic countries, and has been in operation for at least two or three hundred years. So, if anything, Uganda is late to the table. <laughs> Madam President, our guests from overseas, Madam uh, Atia Ali, Dr. Chacha, Chachi, and the other guests, welcome to Uganda, the Pearl of Africa. I would like to emphasize that banking according to Islamic principles is a priority for the government of Uganda. It is an important plan in our development platform for the country. I'd like to also inform the convention that we're already well on the way to approving this banking to start operation in Uganda. I have already presented to Cabinet, and Cabinet has duly approved, amendments to the Financial Institutions Act of Uganda, with four major recommendations, of which banking according to Islamic principles is the first one. To, uh, for us to provide the regulatory framework for banking, for this banking to operate. And we're also aware that there are many banks in Uganda that are very interested to start operating uh, this department, as well as banks from overseas. And just very quickly, the other three uh, criteria, the other three amendments we'd like to pass is uh, the one for bank assurance, which will en encourage and facilitate insurance companies to ensure loans for agricultural purposes, which will help in bringing down the cost of agricultural loans. The third one is mobile money transfers and mobile money banking. Uh, we want to make sure that the law catches up with technology and makes it both more convenient, safer, and more uh, all-embracing for people to carry out uh, transactions over the telephony platform. And the fourth one is for agency banking. To make sure that those people working, especially in the rural areas, as agents for banking services are registered, are uh, uh, certified, and are also assured. So, in a way, I'd like to say that the government, that the cabinet has done its part. Uh, the, the amendments bill is now in parliament with the first parliamentary council. So, I'd encourage the members here, you're all very powerful as members of the private sector to lobby your MPs. Lobby your respective MPs for your constituencies or for your special interests to make sure that this bill is brought to the floor of Parliament and passed as soon as possible. We need it yesterday. Madam Chair, in that I'd like to say, my, Madam President, I pass the challenge to the private sector to make sure that a banking appointment financial principles is enabled as soon as possible. The reason why banking according to Islamic principles is so important to us. In the past, the financial sector in Uganda has had a plethora of challenges of very high interest rates leading to default in loan payments, uh, borrowers who are not properly schooled in, the, in, uh, in financial procedures, and eventual loss of properties to banks for recovery and uh, the destru destruction of people's hopes and dreams. The Islamic banking and finance, or the principles thereof, will therefore be greatly uh, welcome to the business community here in Uganda. Because as Madame Ali has said, the difference with, with, uh, between uh, conventional banking and banking according to financial principles points out that the banks and the entrepreneur are partners. I think that is the most important criteria. 
for better or for worse, as they say, in other forms of partnership. And this will encourage that the loans, the applications are thoroughly appraised, the loans are carefully crafted, and that there will be after sales service. The banks will follow up with the entrepreneurs to make sure that everything is going okay and not just turn up on the last day of the month to collect the installments. By taking a, an equity stake, by taking uh, a participation in the business, we feel this will help bring the financial sector and the business sector much closer together, especially when we look at the rural areas. It also will help us to, to, to incalculate the principles of not just PPP, but PPPP, public-private producer partnerships. In this case, the producer being the SMEs that Madame Ali has talked about. All too often when we talk about the private sector, we think only of the urban, the, the monetized, and, and, and the financially uh, astute sector. But our farmers, our agri-producers, our support services in the rural areas, all these are also producers. And uh, banking and point of Islamic principles, I think, puts more focus on the small and medium-sized enterprises, or as I call them, the producers. SMEs are the backbone of the originating countries of banking and point of Islamic principles, as has been pointed out. And we feel this will help us in Uganda, where again, SMEs are the backbone of the private sector, which again is a, back, a backbone of the economy. In this respect, I'm delighted to see that we have on the podium representatives of all the various mm -hmm. disciplines that are important to banking according to private, uh, Islamic principles. We have Madame Atia Ali from the Islamic Chamber of Commerce, Industry and Agriculture. President Oliver, I think there's a lesson for us here. It is commerce, industry and agriculture. We have Dr. Ali, who's a senior, Dr. Chachi, who's a senior training specialist. And, and again, when we say that uh, the producers, the entrepreneurs must be trained, must be made financially literate, I'm sure the Bank of Uganda will be very happy to speak to him about our financial uh, education unit. We have a financial education unit which was put up by my ministry and the Bank of Uganda, and it's working with investment clubs all across uh, the country. So I think that would be a very important point of call. And Madame Hershey, Islamic finance lawyer. I think she'll be a very important person for us to touch base with as we start the journey of, uh, of developing all these various relationships. And of course, our own Mr. Juma Sami, the managing director of uh, DFCU Bank, which I think will be one of the forerunners in uh, uh, Islamic banking, banking according to Islamic principles, since they're already very heavily committed to agricultural lending. But I'd like to also welcome all the other banks, all the other non-bank financial institutions that are here today. I'd like to see us work much more closely with the producer uh, of the, the producers of the country as uh, represented here and outside this room. And with those few comments and very conscious of my layman status when it comes to talking about banking according to design principles, I'd like to once again welcome everybody, both our visitors from abroad and people who come from just across the street. Welcome. I admire your commitment to this purpose and I wish you very fruitful deliberations. Thank you.